we have exact algorithm what is exact algorithm it means a suffix starting at ith position starting at ith position which is also equal to prefix bear till the end and you will understand it so we will start from the first index because no make sense starting from the zeroth index we have l and r it means the z boundary l is the lower and r is the rightmost boundary so we have this if our ith is greater than our uh, right so just initialize it l and r to i then we need to find if this and this value is equal means the starting at this suffix starting at this value this index should be equal to the prefix is it equal yes go to the next value now it is not equal we have also incremented our r it is not equal now the value will be r minus l so what's the value r will point to 2 so 2 minus 1 will be 1 and r will point to ending of substring which is also equal to prefix so a and a single a is a prefix which is also equal to suffix so we have input value 1 now it will i will increment l and r will also increment this value is not equal directly put to 0 now this will increment l and r will also increment means l and r will reinitialize to ith value this value is not equal directly put 0 next i will uh, increment as our r is less than i l and r should also increment means if our i is greater than right we have to increment our starting position and our ending position this value is equal okay increment this value is also equal now this value so we have to uh, compare the value using this code so it will compare with the starting position and what's the index it will automatically calculate it means the right minus left index will be the starting index so this value is also equal just increment your r this value is also equal this value is not equal so 4 minus uh, 8 minus 4 will be 4 it means 4 sub 4 characters are equal directly put 4 means the value will be r minus n and r will point to the ending of the substring means we have to decrement r th value so this this is the code we have put now uh, we have to increment our ith position this point is inside the boundary inside the range of l and r means x means z box z box so we will directly copy the value from this index why because we have already calculated and this particular range is present in a prefix so we will directly uh, get the value no need to do the work again we got this value this is the code to get the index and value i will increment directly copy the value from here then then this value directly copy the value from here then i will increment as our r is less so l and r will reinitialize so this a and c is not equal directly put zero this will go to next position as our r is less so we have to reinitialize this and this value is equal this is also equal this is also equal also equal also equal this is also equal also equal x and x is also equal now this value is not equal what's the value 17 minus 9 it is 8 so directly put the value from r minus l which is 8 and we have to decrement the value of r it represent the range of the prefix which is also equal to suffix then we go to this value directly copy the value from here because this is inside the z box z box or z boundary so directly copy the value from prefix so this is the code directly copy the value from here so this code particularly this code if block i will tell you why this is this is important the value we are getting is inside the boundary inside the remaining boundary Rem what's the remaining boundary it is rth minus the current index so this will make sense afterwards so inside this we go to zero value so zero is less than the boundary means the remaining range so directly put the value then we go to this value it is also less than the remaining range like we get the value then for this value now it will make sense because we got a and uh, now this value this particular code if block does not make sense this is not the case we got a a b x i will highlight it you got a b x which is also equal to prefix but next character which we are getting is a which is also equal to prefix so we need to do further comparisons increment your r further comparisons so now l l will shift now this is the case 
this is not the case for directly um, we have a new x branch x uh, new boundary so l l will shift to ith index now this is the, our box our new z box a and a is also equal go to the next character it is not equal so what's the value 18 minus 3 is 5 it means 5 characters are equal so 5 and r will decrement so this is the code then uh, we go to this uh, jump to next next index directly copy the value because the value is less than the remaining range next we go to this value is less than the remaining range directly get the value we go to this value directly uh, copy it then we go to this value we go to 4 is 4 really the answer no because our remaining range is only 1 and we are getting 4 but 4 does not make sense so 4 is less than uh, so value value we are getting uh, in this case we are getting 4 which is not less than the remaining range remaining range what's the remaining range r minus i at plus 1 so uh, it will be 1 so value should be less than 1 no this is not the case so we have to compare it we have to reinitialize our z box so l and r will point to uh, ith position is a and a equal yes r will increment now it is not equal what's the value the difference between l and r one r will shift r will decrement then point to next value this character is not equal the value will be zero r will point to the ending of the substring r will be less than n that's it that's it uh, this is our z box so we have this function we have this and this left and right boundary if our ith is greater than the rightmost boundary so reinitialize it and find the characters then fill the length and r will decrement if this is inside the boundary we are inside the z box z boundary so get the corresponding um, get the mirror so we can say mirror index on the prefix side so we get the value if the value is less than the remaining range so select the copy the value if the value is not less than the remaining range so we have to recalculate it so um, we have new z boundary so l will point to i and we are finding our remaining uh, we have to recalculate so do the re recalculation and uh, insert the values this code is very similar to uh, this code which we have written here we got this question we need to find points which is equal to we need to find points in our string as in which pattern bat is present so it is present and we have to um, take this as a one base indexing so this is one and we go to this so the starting position is 1 and 18 to perform this we have we need to just calculate this first insert your pattern then insert a special symbol so then it will differentiate between the text and the pattern so we have differentiated first we initialize our pattern then a special symbol then our text which we are getting then we have ju the just this code if at any given point if the value if the z index value is equal to the pattern length pattern length in itself it means character it means we got a text and on any particular point that text z that value is equal to the prefix prefix length it means it is it is pattern length starting at the ith position so we need to just insert the starting position we have to decrement the pattern length because we have inserted pattern before so i have pasted my code here now let's submit this so it is working fine and we have successfully solved this question let's talk about the time and space complexity we have this create z and this will work for the length of string so it will be order of n but we are passing order of n plus m so time complexity is n plus m and space is also n plus m